Right, hi everybody, don't know if you can see us, hello. Um, we're going to get started in about five minutes or so. I've got a couple of examples here of the type of thing that we're going to be looking at creating today. Um, they're in the style of a brilliant uh, Brazilian artist called Romero Brito. So afterwards, if you do like it, you can have a look at his stuff and um, see what it's like. Um, but you will need your pencil, you'll need a piece of paper, maybe you need a rubber, unless you're really good. Uh, and felt tips are best. You can see they really pop out there when they are felt tips. Two seconds, let's turn all my lights on. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Looks a little bit better, you can see it, okay. Um, so you need uh, felt tips are best, but if you haven't got felt tips, obviously some uh, pencil, colour pencils, they'll be absolutely fine okay uh good to see a few of you in the chat there i'll give um like i said we're starting at two o'clock so four minutes or so we'll give people a chance to get down um, and you can get your stuff ready and like i say i'm show you these ones this one is done in the style um like a copy of a piece of art that he's done and then I made an original Mr. B here, where we used his style to create something else. So we did something in the style of that artist, rather than just copy something they'd done. Okay, but we'll get onto that in about five minutes. So get your stuff ready and be ready to get started. Um, I'll give say, uh, hello to a few people in the chat there while we are waiting to get started. So I can see uh, Isabel's here, she's got a felt tips. Hello, Isabel. Evie's here, hello, Evie. Um, thank you for your quick math there, Milo, lovely. Um, Sunset Gamers, I'm sure you've told me who you are, but I forgot that many people in. And Hydro Pro Monkey, I think one of you is Lucas. Hello, um, hi, Izzy. Hi Millie, Charlie, no, hi Sunset Gamers, Charlie, hello Charlie mate, um, Joseph's in there, hello, Mrs. Carthy's there, hi Miss Carthy, okay, I don't know if you saw last week, Mrs. Carthy made a great um, art lesson from what we did, okay, a great, uh, sorry, piece of art, I'll put it on my Twitter if you want to look at it, good to see you there Vinny, hello, hello Sam, uh, Alfie, Lucy, hi Drew, um, okay. Hi Joshua, good to see you. I think you were first in there, Joshua, when I saw earlier on. Keen mate, I know you enjoy your art. Okay, Conrad and Lacey, hello. Glad that you're welcome. Just gonna let you know, guys, with your chat, putting your name on, absolutely brilliant. Okay. Um, if you need to put your surname, uh, your, your initial on, so I know who you are. You can do that, but don't put your full name on for me, please, okay? Remember what we look at in um, computing, okay? About staying safe online, try not to put your full name on there. Name and initial is fine, just your first name is all right, okay? Anyone else there? No, I'm not saying Hi, Scoff, good to see you, mate. Really good to see you in the chat. Hi, Leah. Uh, there. Thank you, Emma. That's a really nice comment. She said, Thank you, Mr. B, and the teachers for all the work you're doing and dedication. Yeah, yes, I'm on camera and I'm doing the lessons, guys. But the other teachers, Miss Allison, Mrs. Rice, Mr. Donaldson, um, oh, yeah, Mrs. Carthy, are all doing loads of work um, behind the scenes to keep this all running. So, thank you to all of them. Hi, Freya. Hi, Jude. Um, Hi, uh, Jack and Iris. Okay. Okay, so it's two o'clock there now, so we're going to start the lesson. Okay, I'm just going to repeat what I just mentioned in the chat because there are some people have just popped in there and um, just came in. Uh, in the chat, if you want to put your name in so I can say hello, or some of you have your name on your, um, your chat names anyway, so I can see. 
But if you want to, you can. But please remember, don't put your full name in. Just put them. Um, there we go there. Daisy and Lucas saying hello. Your first names is fine. If you need to put a second initial, because I know there's quite a few Isabel stuff like that, just an initial, please. Okay. Sorry, Mrs. Carthy. I was only joking. Right. So, today, as it is in the title, we're going to be looking at some art by Google it. He's got lots of different other art and stuff as well. Some cool emoji art um, style. And it's really, really good. Okay. So, if you um, enjoy this lesson and you think it's good, okay, you can um, have a look at his art and see if you can replicate anything else. Now, what I am going to say is last week, uh, when we were doing our perspective drawing, people were doing it on pace, they were a little bit behind and stuff. That was absolutely fine, okay? People mentioned it's buffering. I'm going to close some things down um, on my end. Okay, make sure it isn't me. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is, if you need to go at your own pace, if you need to pause the video and be a little bit behind, that's absolutely fine, go at your own pace. Remember, you can watch the video again, so if you're ever wanting to do um, uh, another one, and I suggest you do, I'm going to give you a cool competition at the end. Um, if you want to have a go at it again and do something else, another style, the video will be there to watch again, so don't worry if you start to fall behind. So, firstly, we can see that this is an exact, not an exact replica, but it's a version. This is a piece of art that Romero Brutto did, okay? We copied it exactly, okay? Now, I didn't do this one. My fiancé did this one. And it's the same colours. It's the same patterns and everything. And you can see it's really cool. You've got lots of big, strong colours, strong different patterns and stuff. And it's something that looks really, really good. But we can use this to make our own art, and that's what we're going to do today. So we're not going to copy that one, okay, because we can all copy, but it's always good to do things in a style rather than copy. So we have got this one, which I did, okay, and as you can see there, um, I've changed the word in the middle, and I've changed it to Mr. B, but I've changed the colours, I've changed the different patterns and stuff, but you can see, if you look at them together, you can see, yeah, they're done in the same style. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and what you can do, if you want to, you can do something um, a little bit different from what we're doing in the lesson. That's fine. And just follow the style. But what I want to suggest you do is we all copy along because what we're going to write in the middle is we're going to write NHS. OK, and we're going to do lots of patterns around it, like the same way that we have here. And then you can all display them in your windows, showing some great resp uh, respect um, and sending love to all the people working out there um, on the front line, the healthcare workers key workers as well anyone just to say thank you so we're going to do that but then obviously after the lesson you can use what we've looked at to write your own word write your name anything you want so i'm going to leave these up at the top there so we can see them now you can see here i've already got some sheets down now i'm going to be doing felt tip in a minute and what's always good is to put some sheets down make sure you're not getting the table marked or anything like that because your parents will kill you if you're getting ink all over their lovely table now what i've done as well as i've kept them because i put sheets underneath but rather than using the same uh, different sheets every time i'm going to use the same sheets and i'm not wasting paper i'm using the same ones every time i do some art and pop these down and they are going to stop me getting ink or anything anywhere and we'll get my new piece of paper now First thing that we need to do, okay, as you can imagine, is to write in the middle what we are going to write it. And okay, with this, it's going to be quite sort of big, blocky writing that we're doing. So we're going to do NHS across the middle here. So we're going to start with our N. Now, if yours looks a little different, that's absolutely fine. Remember, when you're using your pencil, remember, go lightly because we're going to be going over the top later on. It's not too bad because we are going over it in a black felt tip or a black pencil if you have them later on um your letters might be slightly different you might want to do them different okay you might be trying to copy the same it's up to you i'll try and get my schnoz out of uh, the camera there so we're going to start i'm just going to do a little line across now when you're doing your lines do them like that but i'm going to do them darker so you can see mine okay so i'm going to do a line across there then we are going to go diagonal down okay maybe a little bit more you might want to go more of an angle, less an angle. And I'm going to go up, but I'm not going to go up. 
all the way to that level. I'm going to go a little bit shorter just because it's the style that I'm doing, okay? And then my line across from the top of my end there. And I'm not practiced this NHS one, okay? I'm just doing it now, okay? To show you how, if it doesn't look perfect and it's not exactly what we want at the end, we could do it again. But to show you how it's all just art, it's something great and fun and relaxing to do to enjoy yourself. And we're going to go up there, okay? You can see I went down along and up. And then I'm going to go a little bit further down on this one, okay? And across, so you can see I went further down than that level there. And then we're going to go down. Now, you might like how that end looks. You might not. You might think, oh, you know what it is? I want a bit more of a diagonal there. Make that a little bit shorter. Whatever you want. And obviously, if you've done your lines light, and you should have done them a little lighter than I have, you can rub out that little mistake. You think, all oh, right, and I want that a little bit more. I need this a little bit longer. And um, you can see, oh, actually, I wanted to go to there. If you're doing it light, which is what we looked at last week, okay, we go on. Uh, just to let you know, I do normally do my art lessons on a Thursday, okay, I'm doing it on a Wednesday today, um, as I won't be doing any live lessons tomorrow, okay, tomorrow I'm going to be in school, uh, looking after children that have to go into school, the key workers' children, so I won't be able to do my live lessons, but I didn't want you to miss out on the art, so I've moved it to the day, so next week we should back be Thursday, um, but if you just keep an eye on Twitter and Facebook and everything like that, you'll be able to see when my lessons are going to go live. Yes, you can do your name if you want, Isabel. Um, like I said, you can do that, or you can copy this one and do your name afterwards, or you can just do your own name, okay, in big writing. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the NHS because I thought it would be really nice if people put them out of their windows. And, and see here, on all my letters, on this one and this one, they're all overlapping, so my H here is slightly underneath the M. So I'm going to do a cross, so it goes in, there, 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 then down. So all your letters, we're not doing them sort of individually, they're all sort of linked and on sort of top of each other. Okay. And I'm going to say, right, well, it's coming down here, so it's going to pop out the end a little bit, not too much, but just so we can see that it is underneath there. And then you've got to think, how big do I want that part of my H to be, okay? Do I want it to be a thick one, thin one? Again, up to you. you. Don't have to copy mine. Mine is just an example. And we're going. Okay, so then we have M, H, and we need to add our S. Now, although it's block writing, you can see how Romero Brito does his O here. He still uses his curves if he needs to, okay? Um, now, with your block writing, your bubble writing, you might, like yours, you might think, oh, I'm not really good at this, but it's practice, okay? Um, and it will be, uh, more you practice, the better it will get. Some of you will be really good at it already. I know for a fact you will. Hi, Alfie there. Um... can see there. Thank you for that, Miss Carthy. Right, okay. So we're going to start the S. So there's a number of different ways we can do the S. Now I'm going to start with my, I'm going to start on this part, and I know it's going to go over a little bit. I'm going to start about here and do, and that's the, the bottom part of my S. I'm going to do that there. Okay, so start with that line. Now I'm going to do the line that goes over the top. So I'm going to go around like that. And I'm going to do a smaller curve in there because you can see my letters coming around. You see it hasn't touched there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom further over and it come down. Okay. Just going to pop something on my computer. Two seconds there. And uh, Just so I know everything's okay in the chat. I am keeping an eye on it. Um, but I can't all the time. But I know Mrs. Carthy's there. So I'm just... Making sure everything is okay. Yeah, everything looks okay. Right, okay, so go there. So we've got those around there now, so that's the start of our S. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back around 
and up to here. So a curve around up to see it there. And then I'm going to put a line that goes there. And you see my S is on a bit of a slant okay? here. That's what I want. You might not. That's going round, okay? And it's going to be big, come out, really exaggerate the size of that S, okay? I've actually done it a little bit bigger than I wanted to. And we're going to go up into the heat because you can see it's joining behind that S there, okay? And my curve is a little bit off, so I'm just going to correct it and then rub out that original line, okay? You might want to remember like last lesson when we were just doing little bits at a time like that, okay? You can see it going round. So we have got the basis now of our art we have got what we have wanted to write some of you might be a little bit behind okay because you're writing a bigger word or something like that so that's fine so i'll give you a couple of seconds so if you have wrote nhs if it doesn't look exactly like mine that's fine okay art doesn't all have to be the same if everything was the same it'd be boring wouldn't it you might like yours probably look better trust me <laughs> i know about that so and see i've got my nhs here let's have a look who we have in the chat while i'm letting people catch up there how are people getting on doesn't matter if your nhs isn't in the middle there and um, you can do it again and move it into the middle next time something like that mine isn't exactly in the middle look i've got more space that side than that side okay it's you can see with the art it's not a perfect one is it there's, there's squiggles and there's patterns and stuff everywhere so it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle that's absolutely fine hi there scott Thank you, Alfie. You'll have annoyed Mrs. Carty there, which is always a, a good thing. Sorry, two seconds. I'm just grabbing some bugles. Love some bugles. Yours, Judas, that joined up and down. It's cool if you like it. Free, wrote your dog's name. Brilliant. Really good. Okay, so I'll give you a little time in case you're catching up with us there. Now, first thing I'm going to do, so this is the one that I was copying. We can see that the patterns on the letters actually change, okay? And that's because we have these lines sort of going through and going through and separating the patterns up. So the first thing we need to do is to do our line that's going to separate the patterns. Now, what you will see in mine is I actually did a quite down row and you couldn't see much of the other pattern in here. And I didn't like that. Ideally, I want it a little bit higher. So your curve doesn't have to be exactly the same. Your curve can be whatever it was, but we don't want like sort of up and down loads. You can see he uses nice gentle curves. Okay, one, maybe two up. So I'm going to make it so not exactly halfway, but I'm going to make it so it's sort of coming down the way the sort of letters are coming down a little bit as well. So I'm just going to do it lightly first. OK, and that's the curve that I want to use. You can see it's completely different to the one that is in the Romero Brittle copy. And you can see it's completely different to the one that's in mine. That's because my letters are in different places. And again, I learned from doing this. And that's why you practice and you do things over and over again. We have rubbers to do those things again is because. There you go. Is because. It's not always going to be perfect first time. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But it's important to stop at each point and have a look and see what it is, okay, that we are doing, okay. So let's have a look. I'm just checking. Okay, as well, don't feel bad that you're doing your name. You can do one for the NHS later if you want to. Okay, I'm sure you, knowing you, Isabel, I'm sure you've probably got a rainbow or you've got something up there anyway, showing your spot anyway. So don't worry. I just wanted to pick one that everyone could do and have up, okay? If I did Mr. B here, I don't think you all want my name on the wall, do you? Okay, so that shows the NHS that one. So don't worry about that. So you can see that the first one, um, we have goes through. Now this second line, let's have a look here. This second line that Romero Brittle sort of does actually goes behind the letters. Okay, you can see that curve there goes behind the letters, not in front this time. So now we're gonna do another curve, a little bit further up, but it's gonna go behind the letters. Now again, 
your letters are going to be separated differently and stuff like that. Do something that makes it look good. It has to be exactly the same as the curve underneath it. You can see they start to go out on this one. Okay, and they can start to be uh, uh, quite close together at this point. Okay, quite close together. And they're going they're quite far together here at the end. So it's up to you. So I'm going to sort of go away, I think, at this point. Then start to come in, go behind this end. And then you've got to sort of follow the line and think, right, where would the where would we be going? So it's coming down here. See my pencil following the line down. It would come out here, start to go up. And it would come out there. And then start to drop there a little bit. So now I'm going to do that a little bit darker so you can see. You don't have to do it darker because you're going to go over in a pencil or a pen in a little bit. I'm doing it so you can see. So my line comes down and then I follow it. And it's behind here, okay? So don't just randomly do it. Just follow your pencil as if it's the line. And that's the best way, okay? Because you can see now my curves went up a little bit more than the original line. So my line would actually be here. So I'll make it join up. But it would come out somewhere slightly different. Because if that line's a little bit off, it might look a little bit strange. Look like, oh, well, what's happened there? Because it hasn't, it hasn't came out where it looks like it should. So now we've got those two lines across. Now, what Romero Brito does as well is to add a, a few more um, patterns as he has little ones at the bottom, another one going at the top. So we've got our little one, we've got our one, two going across. Okay, that's our two here. So we've got this line here, which is this one. And then we've got our second line there. Now, what I'm going to do is he has a little bit of another pattern at the top. Now, you might not want that all the way along. I'm going to do it really thin here. And then as that one drops, I'm going to have this one drop in as well, but then drop back out. And I'm actually going to have a drop off. So he goes all the way along. But what I've done is I've moved it because it starts to get quite thin. So we have it there. So we've got another little space of pattern at the top. Now you can see on mine on here, I sort of did it on mine as if we start with this pattern and the line goes. OK, and then it comes up and it goes back down here. So it's the same pattern, but obviously it goes, it looks like it goes off the paper and comes in. So that's up to you. OK. If it turns like, like an abstract art dude, I'm sure it'll still look really good. OK. Don't worry if you don't think yours is looking the best that you can. We're all learning and we're going. I'm not a great artist. I just practice a couple of times. And you get better okay so if it's not great this time or you don't think it's great or you think you can do better is the more important thing just keep trying and it will get better okay and then you can see remember it sort of has two at the bottom now his goes the e goes over the top there okay so if your letters are lower down you go on your letters might want to come in but i'm going to sort of copy that style as well so we've got that sort of going down there then where that goes, I'm going to do it coming up there. I'm going to do it like quite smaller. So they're not exactly the same. Okay. They're all sort of, that one's a lot taller than this one here. It doesn't matter if you've got this one taller or that one taller. Okay. We're just doing it in the style. Okay. We're not copying. You're not copying me. You might be for this one. wanting to be copying. So now if we have a look. We have got all the sort of lines and things that we need in where our patterns are going to go. Now, now this is where you really make that piece of work your own. OK, and you do that by with these patterns. OK, you can see if we're doing it in the style of Romero Brito. OK, and I'm going to. um Yeah, that's fine. I've got just a couple of pictures up there in the style of Romero Brito. He has different ones that he uses. OK, now he has these polka dots okay so he has dots on with two colors yeah sometimes he just has them plain okay so he just has them all one color he has diagonal lines um he has ones where he's got a flat color and then he's got little sort of colors on the top of it and then this one you can see he's actually got flowers in it. i've seen a one where he's got hearts in them um and then he's got this one here which is like cross uh, hatching so it's like uh squares on so lines that way then lines that way as well and you can see he has got loads of different patterns but he has um got quite a few on now you can see when i did mine i experimented with a couple of different ones so i've got some of the ones he did the plane the diagonal lines the, the squares 
I used a curved line, okay. <clears throat> I also added one with stars. Then I looked at these one with these flowers and I thought, oh, I'll do smiley faces and add the lines on and stuff as well, okay. I think his looks better, but that was one something I wanted to try, okay, so I'm not worried about that one. And then this one down here, he's got the lines. I thought, oh, I'll try with lightning bolts because I wanted to try different ones, okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> now is the point where you've got to think, right, what patterns do I want where? Now, one of the main things I thought when I looked at Romero Brittle's art is because we're doing lots of patterns, it could get quite hard to um, to see what it is that we sort of wrote there or anything like that, because just like lots of patterns. And what I noticed there is he had grey, and he had one colour all the way on the back there, okay? And that sort of makes the patterns in front stand out. So what I then decided to do is the same with mine. You can see I've got the yellow all the way in the behind and it makes the patterns in front sort of jump out. You can see here as well, sort of chose one colour here, but had these little lines on. So it's two colours and these patterns are on the top, not too busy. I didn't do that, I did the lines. And I think you can see there that it is a lot easier to see these bits than it is the bottom bits. And that's because it's got a flat colour in the background and we've got the stripes there. So what I'm going to do and what might help yours um jump out and you might want to do it this way you might want to do it a different way that's absolutely fine is i'm going to keep this one here this one that goes behind the letters i'm going to keep that all one color i'm going to decide the color yet but i'm going to keep it all one color this one here now i'm going to keep all one color and i'm going to do these squiggles on okay i might do different colors but i'm going to do it like that so now i've got to decide what different patterns I want there you can now go and you can do whichever patterns you want I'm going to go through you can copy my patterns if you want you can do them in different places so what I'm going to do is um with this part here is I'm going to do circles okay I'm going to do uh, polka dots so I'm going to start drawing some on okay if you draw them near the edge and as if they were going off just do them like that so if I do one here okay that's fine as well And I'm going to do these, space them out, not too close together. Do one in the corner there. One there. One sort of goes off. And that one goes off into the pattern. Do one down there. Okay, so I did that section. Now I am going to do my um, bottom of my end here. And here I'm going to do the diagonal lines okay now see here when i'm doing this line what i'm doing i'm continuing my line on as if it was and then continue on the other side so it looks like it matches okay it looks like it's the same line i need to take it down a little bit though so this one as well would go down and it would be there okay and i'm going to do these a little bit darker for you so you can see so i'm going to do this one in sort of diagonal stripes okay so I've got those in there. Okay. So I've got my diagonal stripes. I'm not keen on that one there. I think it goes a bit more of an angle. Okay. And then it would start here and go up. So you can see me just changing them as I'm going on. Now I'm not too bothered that I've done them in pencil harder so you can see and I'm rubbing out because again I'm going to be doing in felt tip so we'll not see those. But you can see I've just corrected mum a little bit so we can see and um, when you're in the, in the chat there if you thought of a good um pattern or something that you can do that's not on there because remember you don't have to just do the ones that romero brittle has used you can do your own style as well okay so if you've done your own style can you maybe pop some in the chat tell us what you've done and that will help and see someone's mentioned uh space there you could do black with sort of stars and things like that on couldn't you that's a really good idea that was that tom well done tom good idea that one okay um let's have a look space animals you could do animals now when you're doing animals okay i would do them but i would do really simple ones if you are doing them red crosses that's a really good idea, Milo, matching with our NHS. I think I'm going to do crosses. I'm not going to do it on the letters. I think I'm going to do my crosses down here. Really good idea there, Milo. Move along a little bit. Not the best cross to start off with. Um, I will do the red. 
but I'm not going to leave the background white, okay? Because that's normally what you'd see, wouldn't it? Red cross on a white background. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. But that was a really good idea. Flowers is a good one as well. But remember, with the different patterns, you don't want too many different things, okay? It won't really match, and there'll be a lot on the paper. What you want to do is pick maybe one, maybe two of the different pattern things that you want, and choose where you're going to put them, okay? And then the rest, I would do your lines, your circles, your, your squares, those type of ones, okay? If you do too much, it uh, starts to become really, really what we call busy, and there's there's um lots of things, tiny planes on them. Yeah, clouds. I like clouds. I might do clouds some on my top one. I might do clouds. That's a good idea. Who was that? Was that arch bubble shapes? rainbows that's a good idea now i did think of rainbows before and um, the reason i didn't do rainbows is because as you can see in each section romero brito only uses two colors three at the most okay and i thought i can't really do a um a rainbow that one but you could do the rainbow shape couldn't you but could do it maybe in the blue colors for the nhs or something like that you could choose which colors you want to do those um those little rainbow shapes i'm just finishing off my little crosses for this one okay like i said you might do more like normal looking crosses if you know what i mean okay but i like these uh quite big ones now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna start drawing like the bottom of crosses as if they are going off okay and that's really good shows us like that the pattern is continuing on doesn't look like just something that we put on so i'm drawing the end of that right so we've got some good ones there i think on this one um what should we do on this one i think i'm gonna do my diagonal lines on this one as well okay because don't be scared to repeat your pattern because remember when you repeat your pattern okay i'm gonna make them a little bit bigger than that when you repeat your pattern, you can do them in different colours, so they will look different once they are coloured in. And again, up to you, you can do them a little bit smaller, but when if you're doing it in the style of Romero Brito, he doesn't have like really thin ones and loads of different colours, okay? He sort of has quite thick stripes, okay? That's why I'm doing them there. Okay, um, with this one at the bottom here, I think I'm going to do the... the lines but the squares okay so lines that way then do lines that way and you'll get your squares okay so see it again and obviously that's the same it's underneath there so my pattern here would be the same so although they're not joined they are the same pattern okay so i've got my my squares there and um, let's have a think what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to leave this all one color as well Okay, so I'm not going to put any pattern on there. Um, and what pattern could we do there? Let's have a look, see if there's any more ideas. Bears in a section, underwater theme. That's a really good one. So you could have a theme so your colours could match in with your theme. Obviously, you've got lots of different colours there, which is the one I'm going to be doing. But you could pick all the colours that match with a certain theme. So um, if you're doing underwater, your blues and your greens for your seaweed and things like that, that would be a, a, quite a, a good one. Um sunset some really good ideas here well done uh ellie some really good um ideas there so a couple more bugles for me give me the energy to continue on um what am i gonna do on this one i think i'm gonna do the polka dot again but i'm gonna do them really big Okay, so a lot bigger, so you can see it's a, a lot bif uh, different design, you can see there. Okay, so really big polka dots there. So I've done my letters, because I'm going to keep that the same. I'm going to keep those the same, but this one of them is going to have the squiggles on. I think it'll be this one. So I need a pattern for here, pattern for there, and a pattern for this one as well. Now I've done all my stripes coming that way. So I think down here, I might do the stripes again, but going in a different direction. I 
And now what I'm going to do up here is someone mentioned clouds. So I'm going to do little clouds. Now what I might do is all the clouds, I might not leave them white. I might, I'll see when I get to my colours, but I might do them different colours. And that'd be quite cool because not what you normally see. Now I've not got much space there. If I did want that to be sort of bigger, obviously I could change it and make it quite big on that one. Um, and this one, we they normally put a picture in as well. So I'm going to have a look, see if we can see any ideas. I like that sun idea, okay? So I'm going to do circles, but I'm going to do lines coming off them. So we look, no, it's the sun, okay? Now you can see with the flowers as well, there's not loads of them. If you're doing them small, you might want to do loads. But if you're doing them quite big, you don't want absolutely loads of them. More of an egg-shaped sun there. But we'll deal with it. Okay, and I might draw some of those lines on or something when we go on. Draw another sun there. Sort of coming off. So some really good ideas there. So... I think I am pretty much sorted with my different colours. Blah, blah, blah. Go back. I think I'm pretty much sorted with my patterns. Okay. You might be still doing your patterns. That's absolutely fine. Um, you can just listen um, while you're continuing those patterns. Next step is simple. We're going to go over in black pen. If you have got a... Um, Sharpie, this is what I'm using. We can use black felt tip. You could use a black pencil. Okay, go over thick. Oh, one thing I am going to mention if you have a look here, can you see how these lines come off? Okay, this isn't actually a, a mistake or anything. I can see I've done the one there. Some of the patterns actually continue on, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to continue that line on and that one, not all of them. Okay, I might continue that one on. Okay. That one a little bit and let's go it all only seems to be straight lines that they continue i'm going to continue that one on just a couple there um just to match the style of the artist that we are uh, emulating so if you haven't got a thick pen or a thick pencil you can go over the line then go over it again or go over it next to it to make your line a little bit thicker um because it does have on his quite thick lines to show us difference okay so first i'm just gonna really go over in the way that i drew them with pencil so i did my letters first didn't i so just so i don't get mixed up can you see i could have went down there to stop and then do the line and did the other but what i'm doing is this is all one letter isn't it so i'm doing that shape i'm doing each line of the letter Okay, I'm doing it in one go. I'm not going up to that line and stopping or going down that line and stopping because it might look like two different halves of the letter. I want to think it's two different halves of the same letter, not just two different halves of a shape put together. It's two different halves of the same letter, so we keep that on. Now just go slowly. Okay, you've got your pencil lines. Obviously, you make a mistake with a pen. You can't go back. So go really slowly. Okay. And follow those guidelines. So got my NHS. Now what I'm gonna do is my curve across the front. See I've got my paper down so I'm not worried about not going down at the edge. Now if I'm a little bit off my pencil I am okay with that. It doesn't have to be perfect but remember whatever you're doing now is going to be the last place that your lines go because you can't change the felt tip. So make sure you're happy with what you are doing. That's why if your pencil marks are great and you're happy with them, really helpful. Now I am going, you can see if you're well, if you want to do these lines a little bit neater, you could use a ruler, okay? I really should, but I know last lesson, some people couldn't get a ruler. So I thought I would do a freehand same as them. Now you can see those lines there are different there. So I made a little bit of a mistake there, but I'm okay. I'm happy with it. 
Okay, we all make mistakes. If I had a ruler, obviously I could have followed my ruler along there. So that's why a ruler could help you uh, with those ones. Okay, um, I'm going to start doing my circles. I want to make sure those lines go all the way around and meet at the same point. Okay, so try and do those circles in one motion. Now, as I'm doing these, I might think, ah, those two are close together, so I'm going to move that one back a little bit. So if it's on the side, this one over a little bit, that one's okay, and that one is as well. And there's a bit of a gap there, so I might do a lot one there. So you can add them in as you go. And you might want to make sure um, you're happy with them. Do a little, oh, I need another pencil one in there, so you might want to do it in pencil first. That's absolutely fine as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to do my big circles now. So there's my big circles that will probably come around so i'm going to continue it on okay, can you see how there how i stopped up my pen off and then started again so you can see it looks a little bit like two lines so that's what i was saying why it's always good to go around up down mr b can we see that can you see that circle there okay you can see it looks like two lines doesn't it that's why i took my pen off that's why it's always great to keep that motion going with one i'm going to do my straight lines here Still going to freehand it, live on the edge, and keep going. Can you see those ones are the ones that I said are going to come out a little bit, so they go a little bit up. And then lastly, missed out my cross hatching of my shape here, and that one goes on. See, I moved it a little bit because my line moved in there. Make sure it goes over the edge. And then we've got all the patterns there on our NHS. So I can start doing these lines here. Now I want to start going maybe a little bit quicker with my lines. Okay, and that's just simply because I don't want you just sitting. What should we do lines? See, that one goes up. See how here I'm not bothered. I could go down this way and I can go off the paper. So I know I'm all the way at the edge because I've got my sheets underneath and I'm not going to get them on the table or anything like that so I've got my lines let's start doing my crosses I think it was Milo suggested these Milo really good idea brilliant for someone there's doing the same patterns as me so they can practice them but they're going to do different colors brilliant so then your piece is going to be different to mine isn't it but then you've sort of watched along how i'm doing them we're not saying i'm doing them the perfect way or the best way uh, even a good way but the way i do it i like how it looks okay so if you're copying the pattern but doing different colors brilliant okay really good again ideas every day every live lesson always blown away by your brilliant comments Underwater vibes from Fish for Life. There's a surprise, Drew. Eh? Fish for Life's doing an underwater theme. Who could have guessed it? And there's my crosses. Okay, and I want to do this next curve. If I do the edges of my patterns, the curves, before I do... The patterns inside them okay so i'm going to do this one as well i'm going to make it a little bit wavy than it was at first hi there charlie sorry charlie i've been calling you francis for the past few days in lessons i'm assuming you're using someone else's youtube uh hello charlie uh sorry for calling you francis for the last few lessons but it's only because you've been doing loads in the chat and loads of lessons here so see i've done them, that circle there i've done the circle for my son but i'm not doing these because i'm going to do these a different color if i do them black obviously there's going to be no color in there okay so i'm just doing that and it's going to be like say on this one can you see these lines aren't black they don't have that black surround or anything like that because they're quite thin you wouldn't be able to see them so i'm just going to use them uh leave them sort of some beams coming off you might say like that
my clouds. I think I might keep them white. I wasn't sure at first, but. All right, so if I have a little look around, I think I have done all of my black guidelines that I need to do now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out a little bit. And I'm going to be careful because I want to smudge the ink. So I'm going over the things that I've drawn quite a while ago. So I'm not doing those yet. I'm doing these because this is the first thing. So the ink's had a little time to dry. So I'm less likely to smudge it as I'm rubbing out. Now I might have to rub out all the lines. But the little lines that I can see where I've moved the circles like around there, I am going to rub out because obviously they are really visible. Now, when I lose my felt tip over the top, you might not be able to see them, but I'm just going to make sure by doing that. If your lines are perfectly over the top, you might not be able to see the pencil at all. Okay. But mine, because I've tried to change it, improve it a little bit as I've been doing it. My pencil lines sometimes are a little bit out. Just to let you know, Mrs. Uh, Miss Allison, Miss Carthy, I think Miss Shaw might be watching as well. If you're watching Miss Shaw and any other teachers, I want to see your examples as well, not just the teachers. Okay, so I uh, sorry, not just the children. So I've had to go that. So now I'm going to do it in felt tips. Now, if you haven't got felt tips, you can do. Um, pencils. Romero Brittle was really, really, oh, it's my, another Google. The Romero Brittle was really, really stand out because they're really bright. I think he paints them with acrylic paint. Okay, so if you've got paint as well, you could do them with paint. Okay, yes, Mrs. Carthy, really. And Miss Allison, you always try your best. So that's why I'm using felt tips. You could paint them if you wanted to. We're just going to do this one here. Not everyone's going to have paint. Only use felt tips. Obviously, colour and pencils. If you haven't, I'm going to try and choose nice, bright colours. So, what I noticed when I looked at mine and I looked at the copy that my fiance did is I think her letters pop out more now. Firstly, I think it's because they're a little bit bigger. And again, I've done my letters not the biggest. That's something I'll do next time, isn't it? But I think it's also because we have can you see here darker colors we have a green we have a dark blue and then the love has got brighter colors okay your yellow and your orange and your light blue pink red yellow now here we do have black but it's with white isn't it okay black and white stripes not allowed so we have a black and white which makes it bright so it stands out mine i've got a lighter color then darker on top and it doesn't stand out as much so i'll learn from that and i'm going to use a darker color underneath and a brighter colour on top. Okay, so I'm going to use my. I'm going to choose a colour to go on my background there. I'm going to choose a darker one. I'm going to go with um, purple. Okay, remember yours. You can do any colour you want. But I'm going to start doing them now. Can you see how I'm colouring in there? I'm just taking straight lines. If you are using felt tips, what I find is sometimes it's really hard because if you just scribble. You can actually, it doesn't look like one colour, but you can see the lines underneath. So if you just try and do lines and just go over things that you haven't went over already, it looks more of a, a sort of uniform standard colour. Now, another thing as well is you will see there'll be little parts of this purple. You might not have seen the video, but I can see with being close to it are a little bit darker than the others and that's because I'm going over the top so I'm doing my line and when I do my next one where the lines overlap that is always going to be darker so what I want to try and do is not go over the top of where I've already coloured in okay more than once the more times I go over the darker we'll get now it's easier with darker colours to not be able to see it Okay, but when you start to get used lighter colours, it is easier to see and see where it goes darker. Okay, because this colour is dark already. If it goes a little bit darker, you can't really see. But when you use lighter colours, the colour will really show 
if you're going over one bit two or three times and one bit only once you'll be able to see now i'm not worried about the edge there i'll go all the way up the edge because i've got my sheet underneath i want to go off the paper try not to come back because i'll turn the corners of the paper up and we do it What was Charlie's idea there, Mrs. Carthy? I've seen you respond to it because yours comes up a little bit bigger, but I didn't see Charlie's answer in the chat. What was Charlie's really good idea that he had? Let's wait for Mrs. Carthy because she'll be on lag. Took me a while to get that. Now I can see this is the same, isn't it? They're coming all the way around. So this colour behind is the same because it's the same pattern. It's not a different, a different sort of wash of colour or anything like that still exactly the same if you've done yours with loads of detail in there that's evie uh, that's fine evie sorry it'll look different to everyone else's so it'll be unique and then if you think it's too detailed which means if you do another one you think all right next time not as much detail in that's absolutely fine if you've got more detail in it'll make yours unique okay mine i've got not as much detail in because i've done a couple so i learned when i was making more detail it was getting hard to see but yours still look really good ah charlie using different media textures crayons felt tips paint must have been a good lesson there mrs carthy if they're remembering that art's oh, always a good lesson though isn't it we all enjoy art well, most of us do. So, you're okay, Evie. Don't worry about it. So, what you could do as well is I've talked about doing, when you finish this, doing different words your name, your parents' names, brothers and sisters, pets, the school. You might want to write different words. The ones that Romero Brito has done is he's done the word love, he's done hope. Um, some, some really nice words like that so you might want to choose your own you could use like kindness and things like that they'll be really nice to, to sort of have up in your room or something somewhere so you can choose those different words but what you could do as well is you could do a similar one you could even do the same one do one in felt tip do one in crayon do one in pencil see what see what they look like together which one's best And what you can also do as well is this style, the way he has lots of different patterns and stuff like that, he uses for lots of different other art things as well, okay? Not just words. Um, Isabel, I can't help you find your light blue. Sorry about that. Um, fight for victory. You're playing like a World War II one. I like that one. I think that's Lucas. Peace symbols. I like that one. Yeah, if you can remember this peace symbol signal even and again i think miss carthy you did that in art didn't you um in your lessons so if you were lucky enough to be in miss carthy's art lessons you'll remember what they look like and how to do them um so they're really cool and you could even write the word peace couldn't you you could write the word peace and then one of the patterns could be have peace symbols in it Really good ideas. Someone's got the Spider Man theme tune stuck in the head, the Homer Simpson one. There are more annoying tunes to get stuck in your head. Now, what you've got to always remember with colouring in as well is you can start to see here, I think, a little bit how it's different shades because I went over more than, more, than, more than once. And that's because what I'm about to say with your colouring, you've got to always got to remember your patience and take your time because you might have, a, I've got a big open space here and my colouring in when I'm going over the same one is suffering because I'm trying to do it quick. Now, I'm trying to do it quick because I'm on video and I want to try and do as much of this as I can in the lesson with you guys. What you want to do is take your time so it's all the same. And the more you take your time, the more it's all the same colour and things like that, the better it is going to look. Okay. 
it's really really easy to slip into that or there's loads of space to colour in i'm just gonna colour really quick to get it done making theirs 3d i think i saw so i'm assuming 3d text that's quite cool if you do 3d letters you could do them 3d maybe you could do 3d letters and you do a different pattern on so like the front of the letter has one pattern then the side of the letters and the backs of the letters, they could have different ones on. Some shout outs there from Sophie for Mrs. Carthy's art lessons. I can give a shout out from Mrs. Uh, Carthy's art lessons. I've been in a few of them as well. Very, very good. I'm sure all your art teachers, if you're not from my school, do great lessons. Not just your teachers, obviously if you're in primary school you won't have a specific art teacher. Um, my arm is starting to ache already. And I'm at a loss. Now my purple over here, my colouring in there is a lot better than this one. Now again it's because of that open space thing that I said, but I'm doing this because trying to get as much done in the video as I can. I would take my time a lot more if I was trying to do something really good that I want to put up in the window or something like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go on to this one maybe and I'm going to do two colours. Now what you need to do before you start is you need to have a look at the colours around. Okay, don't just pick any colour. Look at the colours around. What colours are going to... So remember I said I want lighter ones. What colours are going to pop out and look quite good on there? Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to start on these letters. Now, we've done the NHS. So I'm going to do blue, but I need to do two blues. So you need to choose if it's one way you've got two colours. Two colours that maybe go well together. Okay, so you don't want to do two colours. Um, start them and then think, oh, they don't look... Um, they don't look really good together. You need to think first. Maybe on your paper here you think, right, I've got this blue and I've got this blue. Will they look good together? Yeah, I think they should look okay. So these stripes here, I'm going to do in dark and light blue. And I might do more blue on this one than I would normally. But obviously that's because I'm doing it for the NHS. Now I don't know, because I still want to do it in the style of Romero Brito. But on the letters, I might use more blue than I would normally. Okay. Now I was going to do this blue there, but I thought if I did, look, that blue is really, really close to this purple. Okay, they're very, very similar. And if I did that, it wouldn't stand out, would it? So I haven't chosen my colour for here yet, but I'm helped to choose that when I have done that. The little line there. And now I'm going to do my lighter blue. Oh, I missed a little end of the stripe there, which I'll do. <laughs> All right, it's okay if you're a little bit behind there. You've just heard your shout about your thing, but that's a, it's a really good idea, that, Lucas. See what I do in colour. I normally go around the edges first, okay? So then I can colour into them and I'm not going to go over the lines, okay? So that's why I do my outline first. Helps us stop going over the lines. Yeah, good point there, Mrs. Carthy, saying remember to share all your. Um, artwork that you do with us okay we're really looking forward to seeing all that so what i'm going to do is i said i'm going to do some more blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this one um blue and light purple now normally on these ones i keep similar colors away from each other on different letters and away which i will do other patterns and things like that However, because I'm doing for the NHS, I'm going to have more bluey colours. So when I'm saying blue and I'm talking about my purples, um, maybe go in some light green, things like that. I'm going to do that because I'm trying to make this look a little bit blue um, as that's what the colour of the NHS ones are. So I'm going to do the outside in blue here. 
And can you see, because I've done it on this side of that curve, there's no way that this blue is going to touch that blue. Okay, if I did it underneath, those would be next to each other. And I don't want the same colour right next to each other. Okay, and I'm changing a little bit from the style Romero Brito does in regards to having lots of different colours. But because I went on this side of that curve, it's not going to touch. So I'm not going to have two same colours on different patterns touching. And that's, I think, the most important. And with everything with art, you can hear me talking as I'm going of what I'm thinking of doing. So yes, I'm copying. I could have just copied that love sign. Okay, but what I want to do is be inspired rather than just copy. I want to be inspired by that art and think, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to use some of the things that he's done, but I'm going to make my own art. And I'm going to twist it around a little bit. Okay. And change things. Now, I can see people there mentioning already, Mr. B, you should have a TikTok account. Okay, um, people see who agrees, things like that. Now, you will have mentioned if you'd if you might have seen it on uh, lessons, I normally do it at the end, I normally do it at the start. I have put a tweet out on the school Twitter that I've put on my Twitter as well and on my Instagram where I uh, have issued a competition to my year five students and my year six students. Okay, you all have reading plus logins. Now, I challenge you to see who can read the most words, 80% plus, on your reading plus. Okay. Now, year sixes were in uh, in the front at the start with, but when I mentioned that yesterday, year fives have actually took quite a big lead. So, if you want to catch up year five, you all need to work together. Now, what I'm going to do is for whoever has read the most words on the uh, winning team. So if year five win, whoever's read the most in year five. Uh, if year six win, whoever's read the most words in year six, they will get to choose a TikTok for me to do. Now it might be a dance, it might be one of the ones where you're, you're miming, okay? Obviously appropriate ones, I'll have to get them to choose. But whoever's read the most words on that winning team, they will get to choose. So that means I am going to have to set up a TikTok account, okay? So I will have one, okay? So that's coming. So even if you're not at our school, you will see me um, on TikTok doing TikToks, obviously. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, you can laugh and you can take the mic as always. Okay, now I'm going to choose some greens. Okay. Because you can see this green is quite close to blue actually. So although I'm doing different colours, I'm sticking with my sort of bluey theme for my letters. Okay. Now, I'm already thinking now, and this is why it doesn't matter about you all saying, oh, mine doesn't look good, mine this, that, and the other. I'm thinking now, oh, I shouldn't have done that back colour purple, because purple's quite close to blue. And I could have used that in the shape, and it means that my colours are not standing out as much. So I'm thinking that already. So I'm thinking, oh, if I'd really thought about it, it took more time. Then what I could have done is I could have chosen different. I chose a, a bright yellow, sorry, a, or a dark yellow. I said I wasn't dark yellow or an orange or a red. Then these would have been standing out a lot more, wouldn't they? So I'm going to do two different shades of green here to go on. And what I might do actually is keep this blue, but the, these little bits on the outside I might make different colours now. So they have a sort of blue theme. Dabba but they are slightly different. Now this is the lightest colour I've got and you can see a thing where so everyone really get along in the chat and chatting and sharing ideas and things today. I'm really really impressed. It's great to see. Obviously we can't be in a classroom together. Doesn't mean we can't all get on and stuff. But we're doing really really good here. So I've got those colours there. Now this one, that's all going to be one plain colour. So I've got to decide which colour I want for that one. Um, 
and I think you know I think I'm going to go with this green that I've just used here now remember what I said normally we have lots of different colors you can see yellow orange red blue pink black and white uh, teal uh, bluey green sort of colors um, I'm choosing colours quite close together and similar colours because I want my NHS to look sort of a bluey green to match the sort of blue. Now the reason it's bluey green is because I haven't got many different shades of blue. Okay, I've only got a couple and a couple of light purples. So I'm choosing those because blues and purples and greens tend to be quite close to each other. So they should go quite well together. Now yours, you might have completely went differently from mine. I saw someone saying they were doing an underwater theme, so you might have quite similar colours to me. Um, if you're doing another theme, like sunset and stuff like that, you might have reds and oranges and yellows, those type of colours together. Um, and if you're really trying to do it completely in the style of Romero Brito, or just because you really, really like how it looks, you might just do where you're choosing lots of different colours from all over okay so they're not looking um you're not looking for oh i want a similar color there you're actually choosing quite different ones so whatever you are doing sure will be great so what i'm actually going to do with this one can you see how i did the light purple with the blue on the background there i'm going to swap that round so i'm not going to do it the same because i don't think that would look good but i'm going to do purple on the background and I'm going to do the uh, the dots or the spots. I'm going to do those the blue. So I'm sort of like doing it the opposite colour, so that might look good. Now I've just noticed as well there's a little bit of my S that I have missed. So I'll fill that in before I do the dots. Now there's lots of pencil I can see underneath here, which you might want to leave out. See this little bit there? So if I look, then it would be this green here wouldn't it so that's the edge of my s so i'm just colouring that in because that goes there and then we're going to do the dots in the blue then so it's the opposite colours and like i see the pencil underneath that i've got that's there because i did it quite hard and um, so you could see the lines I rubbed it out, but you can still see a little bit. Can't now because I went over the felt tip, so so I said, don't worry about those ones. So there, I've got there with the opposite colours. Okay. Oh, someone's purples run out. Nightmare. Nothing worse. Um, and we've got our last what, last little bit of the NHS part, sorry. And because I've done all the others, reds and blues, uh, blues and, sorry, greens and purples, I want to keep it something quite similar for that one. So, um, what I'm going to do, let's have a look. What colours could we do? Okay, I'm actually... So we've got blues and greens. Blues and purples and greens, blues and purples, so I'm going to do this one green, and it looks like we're doing that. Like an opposite theme, okay? So what I've decided to do there is because I've got blues and purples here, then green, and I've got blues and purples there, then green, and blues and purples there, then green, I'm going to do the same, so it looks like I've got green on the top, green on the bottom, green on the top, blue on the bottom, blue on the top, blue on the bottom. Up to you, you don't have to, like, coloured in the wrong square brilliant i'll just go over the top of that i'm sure it will be fine and that is why we should take our time okay so this one you can see i've done quite different to the other two that i've done here lots of different bright colors everywhere and i've kept the blues and greens and purples in the middle okay to match now because i've done that I'm sort of regretting doing this big one purple, but it's okay. I'm still thinking it will look good. Luckily, I did the lighter colour wrong. Let's go over the top. Can't notice. 
North Connors at all. Um, the last little one. So we have E N S. Okay. So now we're going to get some other colours. We've got our crosses down there. Um, and I'm going to do them. I'm going to do the crosses red, but rather than leave the background white, which you would normally see when you have a red cross. Okay, I'm going to do that um, maybe an orange. I think orange is quite goes quite well with red. So I'm going to do those that. See that going around the outside, so now I can colour in and not worry about going over those lines because I've got that little red sort of buffer zone, a Bruce buffer zone. That. Okay, then I'm going to colour all that in, I'm just looking at the time, and I can't see my phone battery because it's recording, but I know I did a lesson this morning, and had to make a couple of phone calls, so my charge isn't amazing at the minute, so I'm just going to do little parts of each area, and I'll finish it off later, and I might put it off. Okay. So you can see with that one, my orange actually tips quite thin, so it's going to take a long time to current. It's a good job. I'm not doing them all again. Do the outside. So when I'm colouring, I've got that little buffer and I don't have to worry about going over. And I am going very fast there now, so don't copy my speed. Okay. But we can see what that one's going to look like. Um, then I might choose two colours. Let's have a look. I've got two different pinks. Okay, so I might do two different pinks down here. Your darker pink. Again, get right close to the edge. Just try and come off the paper so you don't turn the edge of your paper up. Okay, and again, obviously that one would be pink, just going to leave that for now. And I'm going to do this lighter pink. Now, what I have to be careful with this one, especially with felt tips, is because this is lighter, if I go into the black, it's really going to start to make the colour, and it might sort of smudge that. So I need to be really careful when I'm coming close to those black edges there. Okay, so I'll do those the pink ones. Now what I'm going to do is show you how here we have the blue with the different shapes on there. Now I did two with. Now this way looks better. Okay, so I'll bring these down a little bit. Got these two patterns. We got this one, and we got the lightning bolt one. Now if I bring them a little bit closer to it for you. Okay, you can see that the ones on the dark blue with the silver look a lot better okay than the lightning ones now that's basically because of the pens that i had and um, i do agree great joke there mrs shaw's painting their drawing will probably be a little bit smaller <laughs> great joke um so the reason this one is better Back on task, sorry, I got missed up. Miss Shaw, I only call Miss Shaw um, small and take the mickey because she loves it really. Okay, and I know she's missing us and I'm missing her as well. So, hello, Mrs. Shaw, if you are watching. Okay, so um, this one here, I'm going back on the patterns. This one is good because I have one of these Sharpies. Okay, and it's a silver one. It's like a bright silver pen, the ink's slightly different. So what I could do was just colour that in. Well, sorry, my fiance could do colour that one in and then just do the lines on top of it. 
okay just do the lines on top and they look really good with this one what i had to do was i had to draw sort of the thunderbolts and then color around them so they didn't look that good okay especially with it being a light color underneath i couldn't really put the dark color on the top after i had colored in so if you're using paint or something like that that's great you could let it dry if not you've got to think about what you want to do these black lines here were okay because i just drew over the top in black because i knew that you could be able to see them so i'm going to do some sort of pattern here but i'm going to use let's have a look i'm going to use i've got a gold pen that's like that okay so what i'm going to do is um let's have a think what color can we do this we haven't used much mm -hmm. Sorry, my phone, uh, the camera moved there. Someone sent me a message or something. Okay, so I have got some neon uh, Sharpies. I'm going to use that one to go on the top, I think. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, I like that one. So I like that brightness there. It's right line, but I need a colour that's going to go underneath. That will look quite good. Um, so what will go under that neon? Um, if it's yellow, I think it'll be too close. Um, I don't know if my neon orange is going to work here. I might have to change. That was a good idea. I could change it. Okay. I've got instead my oh. Right, green one here, neon green one. So I'm going to see what's going to go under there. Um, not orange, don't think that'll look well. I'm going to choose actually, I'm going to go out there. Well, I can't choose that colour because I've got pink there. Put myself in a bit of a corner here. What colour shall we use? I don't want to use all neon green for this because I think it's going to be too bright if I do that. Um, let's go yellow then. Okay, I'm going to go yellow and I want to side the colour on the top in a little bit. So this one going to go and we're going to colour all in yellow. Now I'm going to colour all in because like I said, don't want my phone to die when we're in the middle of doing things. I'm going to do these here. Go around that outside line and then I can go a little bit faster in here to get it done. And remember, you can use white as a colour as well. Okay, I have used it on this one. Um, Romero Brittle uses it as well. So if you're going to leave some things white, you can do that as well. Nice bright colour that you can leave. And I'm going to obviously leave my clouds at the top. I've decided I want to keep those white. So that will be good. Okay, so I've got my yellow there. I'm going to see actually my neon green on the top and I might make some shifts. Then I'm going to make spirals. Okay, now it doesn't stick out as much. Well, I'm okay with that. What up? So you can draw on the top if you think the colours will work. The only way, other way you can do it, which will take a long time. And is the way I did the thunderbolts is to draw your line and then you basically colour around it. Now this is really hard to get perfect and why when you look at the two examples, the one where we've got the pen where we could draw on the top was better. So you can draw around, but that is going to take a long time, especially if you've got lots. Okay, and doesn't look as good. You can see it there if I colour around a little bit. It looks brighter because obviously we have got the ink underneath, so that may make it stand out a little bit. But that one's a little bit harder. If you were going to do that way, I'll be doing bigger shapes, thicker lines. Okay, I'll show you how they look on the camera so you can see. Now, with mine as well, you can see that I'm the way I'm talking, I'm just testing things out there now, and I'm testing them on my paper so you don't have to test them on yours. Okay, you can see how they look. So you can see the two different greens there. The one where I've coloured around looks a lot brighter. But it would take a lot longer okay so that's 
So there. Now my sons, obviously, I will be colouring these in yellow. You could maybe go an orange or a dark yellow, light yellow, something like that. And then my sunbeams coming off. Okay. I've got the black line, but I'm going to be doing them just in my yellow pen. So what I will have to do with these ones is these ones would have to be coloured around. Okay. But I'm okay to do that. I know it's going to take us a little bit longer. I'm okay to do that because I've only got one, two, three, four suns, haven't I? I haven't got loads and loads and loads of spirals like I would down there, so it won't take me as well. And what you probably will see as well is this sun looks a lot darker than the colour I was doing down below, down in this section, because it's touched the black. So that's why you have to be careful when you're doing your colouring in as well. So do my lines. Finishing that sun off. If you're still designing, that's absolutely great. That tells me that you're really, really thinking about everything you are doing. Okay, like I said, have a spare piece of paper, put the colours together, think about it before you did. I put that purple there then and thought, ooh, I wish I chose another colour there now. But it's okay, I still think my art looks good, but I just think if I was going to do it again, or if I do it again, I'll change that colour because or if I was doing another letter, I think about those colours more as I'm going through as I am doing them. I'm going to choose this blue. For the, like, the sky behind these clouds. I'm actually going to do it like a sky rather than like out there colours. Like really different colours to what the clouds and the um, clouds in the sky would look like. I'm going to keep them quite similar. Reminds me actually a little bit of Toy Story. You know, and these wallpaper that he has in the not in the newer one. I don't think in, you won't see it as much in three or four. And these wallpaper is the uh, the clouds. And that's what I'm thinking of. Now, a lot of you still saying you're doing the design, still doing the colour in the background and stuff like that. That is brilliant because, like I said earlier on, I'm going quick to get as much done as I can in the video. So my my colouring is not the best. Yours will be better. So if you are behind, that's great. That's what you should be doing. So I've got that there. Um, and I've got the suns here, but I'm not going to do them in a sort of um, a blue sky. I'm actually going to do red. Okay. So just because you think it's a sun, you don't think, oh, well, it'll be in the sky, so it'll be blue. You can change that. And you can see I'm going around these here. Sunbeams. Near what I'm having to be most careful from. Now I can see straight away, and sort of knew before because of our things in before. Those red and yellows are really going well together and look really cool. Okay. So this is what I said about practicing your colours. We only have two, maybe three of the most colours in each section that we are doing. So you want those two colours to really work together, really pop, really come out. Now I've done my blues and my greens in the middle, and I like it because we've got those colours that the NHS would have, it, sort of those bluey colours. But if I was wanting to make one of these, I would much prefer it to sort of pop and to come out Okay, and these brighter colours, and what I'll also be doing is testing them together, what colours work together. Not just one, and not just red and yellow, red and this orange look like they're working together and things like that. Come up with is a really good way to make sure you're getting the right ones before you start. And you're not going to start doing them and think, oh, those don't work well, I've just wasted all that time doing the design and the preparation because I've went in really quickly with the two different colours. Okay, and that's taking thinking about each thing and taking your time is the best way to make sure with each thing 
each piece of art that you do that's going to look how you want it to look which is most important and the best you can do is by taking that time okay so you can see there now haven't finished and um, all my different sections have started to do the color and i don't want my phone to die in the middle of the stream so you can see get an idea of what it's going to look like and you know what you're doing now you're getting on with your color so you don't need me in your ear going on so i'm going to say a very thank a very big thank you to all of you for coming down to the stream for enjoying the lesson most importantly please send me some of your artwork show me what it looks like you can send me it on twitter on facebook or on instagram they're all mr biggins123 you can send it in to the email address on the padlet that we have um and any way that you send it to us is is brilliant okay you can all send us on the, the school twitter if you want to and um, send us those because we really want to see how well you've done i'm sure yours will look top a lot better than mine so that's what i'm looking for what i'm also going to say as well is goodbye until friday i won't be doing any live lessons tomorrow as again i mentioned i'm in school so thank you for coming along but i won't be in uh won't be doing live lessons tomorrow so i did art today but we will be back again on friday morning to do our creative writing our english creative writing lesson okay so we will be here tomorrow there is still work up on the padlet for tomorrow some great work on Jean Goodall okay who is um uh, one of the biggest I suppose um, the most famous um people who looked after chimpanzees and monkeys and cared for them in the wild so some really good work up there so there's still stuff for you to do um as well as that, if you've obviously you are from today's lessons, cool. If you've been inspired, if you really like it, have a look. Romero Brito, his name is in the title. He does lots of other Disney art, emoji art, things like that. And if you do copy and you do have a go, um, please, 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 um, you do have a go at it. Send me, send us them, okay? Send us that work so we can have a look at it. Uh, as Miss Kathy said, there, uh, keep logging on to Reading Plus um, uh, and Mathletics if you've got it. Reading Plus, obviously, if you're uh, in Newton, send Bennett's. Uh, get logged onto there because you in the chance of giving me a TikTok to do so you can as always embarrass myself okay um prize money can't buy that so thanks lords lessons from all um the different lessons all this week and last week are up on youtube so you can watch them again get in contact if you need any help thanks a lot for coming to the stream and I will see you all on Friday.